Greetings folks, this video is all about differential thrust with the Flysky FSI6 radio. Uh, differential thrust means that you can, it's for a plane with two motors, and by mixing in the rudder with the two motors, you can turn the plane using the motor thrust as well as the rudder. Good for taxiing on the ground, good for radical flat spins in the sky if you're into that, but mostly it's uh, useful for taxiing on the ground. Spin the plane around uh, in its own length. All right, let's show how it's done. There's a bit of a restriction with this radio in that it only has three mixes, and you have to use all those three mixes to get this done. You have to plug the motor ESCs into separate channels. Uh, I have the left motor into channel three, I'll show you that on the display actually. On the display, so left motor is in, plugged into channel 3, right motor is plugged into channel 5. Channel 4 is the rudder channel. So if you can see, the throttle makes both, both motors increase at the same time, and the rudder stick pushing to the right. And the left motor spools up, pushing to the left, and the right motor spools up. Another thing to note is that I have a throttle cut switch on this model, um, so the, th the throttle doesn't work when I've got that when I've got switch A in the up position. But the differential thrust is still active, so you have to be careful. You haven't got enough mixes or switches or whatever to uh, cut that mix out. So you do have to be careful. So you can see the two motors thrusting differently and the rudder working at the same time. Really good idea to disconnect the battery for this one because you're messing with throttle mixing and uh, that can go badly wrong if you uh, program in something you don't want to to the throttle. So disconnect the battery and do it. Check all your mixing on the display screen. Let's go to the mixes. So in the mixes, mix number one is uh, mixing the two ESCs or two motors. So left motor is plugged into channel three, which is what the radio expects. Right motor is plugged into ch to channel 5 and we mix those together. So channel 3 is the master, channel 5 is the slave. 100% positive and negative mix and you also need a 50% off offset for motor mixing. Anyway, that's the mix that works. That makes both motors work together. Next mix is no mix number 2. Turn it on. Master is channel 4, which is the rudder. The slave is channel 3. So we're using the rudder stick to operate the left motor. Mixing is 50% positive and negative. You can increase or decrease that as you want for more or less uh, differential thrust effect. No offset needed. And the next one is mix three. Turn it on. Again, we're doing the same thing, but with the right motor. Channel four is the rudder. Channel five is the right motor. And I've, with my model, I needed negative 50 and negative 50 mix. No offset to get the right motor working when the rudder goes to the left. And push and hold cancel to save, and that's all you need. So once again, let's have a look at the display. Safety, motor safety switch on, I've got another video about how to do that. Push the throttle up, both motors go up at the same time. So operating the rudder now, with throttle at zero, rudder to the right and the left motor spools up, rudder to the left and the right motor spools up which turns it in the right way. And also with some throttle percentage on you can see the motors working the same way. Alright so let's now get out of that, plug in the battery. I've actually got a little switch here for these sort of demonstrations so plug in the battery Both motors working at the same time.
taxiing on the ground with the rudder, with a differential thrust, just using the rudder. Moving forward and steering as well. Now you have to remember you have this operating in the sky as well, so you have to be very, very careful with your rudder usage. It would be great to be able to switch that effect off in the air, like you can with uh, FR Sky, but I don't think you can with Fly Sky that I can work out. Thanks for watching.